Hey, bonjour tout le monde. This is Chris Miles from MixdownOnline.com. Thank you for watching and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Um, if you're into music production, recording, mixing, mastering, this is the place for you to be. Um, first, uh, I want to talk to you about the DAW I work with when I do some mixing and recording and production. Um, and I'm talking about Cubase. I love working with Cubase. Um, I've been working with Cubase for the past 12 years and uh, since this is going to be the main software I will use for my, for my future tutorials, I just wanted to show you the basics of that recording software. So let's get started. All right, so now let's start by creating an empty project in Cubase. So let's click on File and then New Project and on the top right you'll see the More Option tab. Click on it and let's select an empty template and I'm gonna look for a space where to save my audio files so let's create a new folder I'm gonna name it Cubase and yeah, Cubase 1 and click on create and click on open all right so now that we have our empty uh, Cubase open the first uh, thing I need to do is to check if my audio device is well connected to Cubase so to do so I'm going to go into devices and go down to device setup. Now on the left side you'll see the VST audio system. Just click on that and then on the right side go on top and select your sound card. And click OK. OK good. So now we're going to start by creating a few tracks. So in Cubase there's a few ways you can do so. Uh, first of all, there's the Add Track Plus button right on top. If you click on it, let's select Add Audio Track. Or on top, click on Project, Add Track and select Audio. Or you can just simply uh, right click and Add Audio Track. There you go. So let's add a few mono tracks to our project. I'm gonna create like three tracks for now. And there you go. So now I have three audio tracks. All right, so now what I need to do is to uh, select some inputs to uh, these uh, three tracks. So um, what I'm going to do is to set up my input buses. So I'm going to go into devices on top and go down to VST connections or F4 on your keyboard. Just go on the top left and click on the inputs tab. And this is where you're going to be able to create your input buses. So by clicking on add bus, you'll be able to uh, create as many input buses you want, as far as it's uh, supported by your sound card. But in our case, we're going to start by creating only three mono buses. Next, you can click on outputs and do the same for your output buses. Or you can use the, uh, in the studio tab, you can use the control room system, which I'm going to talk about later on, on a future tutorial. All right, so now I'm back into my project window and I'm going to select the first track on top and on the left side in the inspector window, I'll be able to um, work on all the settings for my track. Now, if you, if you don't see that inspector window, just go on top and click in the setup window layout and just uh, make sure that your uh, inspector option is uh, checked in. All right, so now to assign an input to a track, uh, basically you need to go into the inspector and make sure the first tab on top is selected and go into the input routing option. And now all the three um, buses we created earlier are gonna be available. So for my first track, I'm gonna select the mono in bus and for the uh, second track, I will go and select Mono In 2. And on the third track, Mono In 3. So there you go, that's simple. For the rest of the video, I opened an old drum session that I recorded in Cubase a few years ago. So let's start by looking at the Cubase mixer. So to get to that mixer, you, uh, you can go to Devices and to Mix Console or just click on F3 on your keyboard. And there you go, that's the uh, Cubase mixer. So uh, on the top here, what we have is uh, all of the options you can add to your tracks, like uh, inserts, uh, sends, uh, the internal EQ, uh, which is pretty cool. And there's even a channel strip available as well. 
And the cool thing about this mixer is that you can customize whatever is showing on the rack. So to do so, go on the top left and click on racks and it will show you all the options available to the rack. So you can actually add stuff or remove what you don't need. So let's say we only keep the routing pre-tab and inserts and sends. So let's uh, remove the rest. So there you go, that's a much cleaner console. Now another cool feature uh, of this console is to play with the size of the faders uh, by just clicking on top here and dragging up and down, um, which I think is a very, very cool feature. I really, really like that. Um, something else you can do is to play with the uh, the width of the, the fader. So uh, if you wanna do so, just click on H on your keyboard and every time you click, it gets wider and wider and if you want to bring them back together click on the letter G. So there you go, so that's the uh, the mixer in Cubase 8. Now that we're back into our project window I, I am gonna select all of my 14 drum tracks and I'm gonna go forward and create a group a channel track. So to do so very simple you just go and click on the plus sign and you select add a group channel track. So there you go, I am gonna name it drums and click on add track and there you go, your group a drum track is created. So now let's go back into the mixer and select all the tracks that we wanna send to that group. So you click on the first one and shift in the last one and they're all selected. And I'm gonna send the output of these tracks to that group. So on the top right, there's a quick link uh, option that you can select right here. And if, you, uh, if it's activated, what, what it does is uh, everything that is selected uh, is gonna be uh, linked together on a temporary basis. So now I am gonna go and uh, click on the routing tab on top right here and just click on any output of one of the selected tracks and choose a group drums. So now all of these tracks are sent to the drum group. So let's have a listen. Nice. Um, next, I want to add a reverb to that drum group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the project window and I'm going to go and click on the plus sign and uh, select the add FX channel track. There you go. Now I'm going to choose one of my reverbs. So let's go and select the uh, reverence reverb. That is actually a stuck plugin in Cubase. So now let's click on add track and now you have your reverb open. So I'm going to just uh, keep the uh, default settings here and I'm going to go and uh, rename that channel to uh, drum reverb. So there you go. Uh, now I'm just going to go and select the drum uh, group channel we created earlier. And on the left side in the inspector window, I'm going to click on the sense tab and just uh, choose the uh, first empty space and click on it on the right side and now you just select the reverb that we created and there you go, just activate the send and you can now play with the amount of uh, signal you want to send to that reverb. So let's have a listen. So that was easy. That's the thing I like about Cubase, just the fact that when you create an effects channel track, you don't need to go and, and uh, set up some buses and route them over to this track. You just, uh, you just create the track, insert the plugin, and you're good to go. Um, and that, you know, that saves me a lot of time during the, the mixing stage. Hey, thanks for watching this introduction to Cubase 8. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. A lot of good stuff is coming in the near future. Um, take the time to go to my website, mixdownonline.com, and go and download your free ebook, a quick guide to create the perfect mix template. See you soon.